Hey, it's Zeke Coleman, and some might know me as Kid Guru. Uh, this is just a video response to, uh, well, uh, his name RHV two hundred one. One of my uh, very good, uh, you know, a friend of mine. I've been really communicating with him lately, and uh, he write he wrote me a message on Windows XP, and he uh, yeah, I'm on my XP machine right now, but uh, he just wrote uh. I'll just answer his email real quick, because he said, uh, I just watched your most recent video. You're, you talk about you are 12 years old. If you are 12, how good are in your computers, and you're going to be 15 or 16 years old, uh, how good are you going to be at 15 and 16 years old? Sorry, I read that wrong. Uh, I see a possible job in information technology in your future, if you, in parentheses, if you, uh, if you want to be that for a living when you grow up. Well, uh, yeah, actually I do. I want to deal with pretty much everything in tech. I want to work from a home office and, you know, everything combined, programming, designing, you know, be a tech, you know, all of it. Just, you know, just a, you know, a, mas a master tech job, you know, whatever is fine. I had a suggestion for a future video on Windows XP Home Security. Uh, he wants, you know, min uh, for people to maintain a computer more securely. Uh tips and tricks for managing passwords and all that stuff and you know and th the rest is just you know a little note to me but anyways yeah sure uh we'll be glad to make a video and here it is uh he wants to know more a little bit about windows xp home security and uh first off you're always going to want to make sure you have the latest security version so you're going to want to go to your control panel which you start control panel security center and you click there and I'll show you everything you have enabled and disabled in latest versions now I'm not really going to go into that right now because I don't want to show my security center at the moment but I am going to show you some tips protecting your pass password and stuff okay well you're not only going to want to run Windows but other virus software is always great you know if it's a uh, branded by like Norton or anything Norton's are uh, there's Norton there's uh, all those things you can buy Norton's a pretty good I believe they're, uh, there's Norton Cinematech, they're, you know, they're all good brands, and M McAfee, whatever you want to choose is up to you, but, uh, as for open source software, or not open source, but free software, the free edition of AVG, AVG Griffsoft is an awesome, awesome virus protector, just go to, uh, the site is, uh, right here, I'll put it in the, uh, I'll put it in the video details, it's free.griffsoft.com, and sorry, it's loading, because I have all these huge tabs opened right now, it is a uh, so it's great virus software protector. It's a uh, easy to use, lower system resources, automatic update, uh, real time protection. The files are open and programs are running, so it scans them. It has a virus vault for safe handling infected files. And uh, Phoenix Labs has made one. A Peer Guardian. It's always a great thing to run AVG if you want to run AVG. Just uh, my recommendation. And for if you're a user a user of a peer Peer networks, peer guardian scans IPs that are uh, an IP uh, that are scanning your computer for malicious content. So all that stuff, uh, malicious you know malicious use. I mean, Clamwin, a free antivirus software for Windows, very great. Uh, a second recommendation, Clamwin. It's a scanning scheduler, high detection rates for viruses. You know, just uh, pretty much the same thing. Just has a little add-in for Ma Microsoft Outlook if you use that. Uh, this is by, uh, this is by, uh, Norton, Sygate Personal Firewall. If you don't like your old, uh, Windows Firewall, Sygate Firewall is a great alternative and has more, you know, replaced advanced smart firewall and, you know, more cus custom ability over your Sygate Personal, you know, it's Personal Firewall. Uh, Antivir is a, another good one. I'll give you all these sites in the video link. Or you can just type in the name on Google and get it. And it has different suites that you can choose up to. And some The free one has protection against expensive dialers and fish, fish, fizz, fizzing, or fi, fi, fishing, whatever you want to call it. Detects and deletes root kits and protects against viruses, worms, and trojans. So that's a great one too. Now, if you go to this Wikipedia page, I'll give you the... Uh, a link for this one too has great talk about you know viruses and uh, software at the end I believe oh no external links for software etc and you know just how the history of hack uh, computers and you know ha viruses approach now hacking really started you know the whole hacking issues really started with you know phone freaking and phone freaking turned into the computer industry when hacking really first started so you know that's just a little history about it but 
Anyway, some really good tips to protecting your computer. Uh, when people want to crack a Windows passwords, they use the SAM32 file, or the SAM file, which is a Windows 32, a System32 uh, file that is, uh, it's in, uh, I guess you would say it's pretty much on lockdown. You can't read it or answer, uh, you can't read it or edit it, or even, you know, view it for the most part, even if you are the admin. There's only way to do it is using stuff like Nopix STD from, I think that's Linux, uh, I'm not sure, I believe that's a Linux thing packet sniffer uh, I think Nopix STD is a uh, Linux but you know if you you're always curious you go ahead and you know I'll do it now to Google something if you ever have uh, you know if you ever have questions on any anything just Google it not oh wait I told Nopix I don't know how to spell that hang on I'm stupid sorry about that I just totally spaced out there Nopix STD yeah, that's a Linux distro. It's a, I'm pretty sure it said. But anyway, Nopix STD is something or something that they use to decode your SAM file, which holds the hash numbers that they use later on to decrypt your password. Now, uh, first off, every time you change your password, a new hash is created. So change your password, which is a uh, maybe every month or so to get, create a new hash, and you can do that by Control Panel. And wait for that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I clicked it. Okay. Control panel going to your. Uh, I believe it's either in your. Oh, user. Go to user accounts. And wait for that to load. Sorry, my computer. My XP's been a little buggy lately. It's been a little. Whoa, as you see there. This cam studios have been having some errors. But anyway, you can from here change an account create an account and you know just get go into your administrator's account and really set those things for your uh, you know user account and change your password as frequent as you can and for guest account now you can have from that user account right here in your control panel you can have the ability to turn off guest accounts but if you do have a family computer like uh, my friend RHV201 does you know, and if you need a guest account for guests, you know, you can easily monitor them using the admin account and the user accounts in a, you know, really take down their, uh, either, you know, uh, really, uh, edit their, uh, how would I say this, edit their, uh, their accessibility to the stuff they can actually, you know, use. Now, for internet safety, uh, for viruses and all that stuff, for more, easier secure thing I would recommend Mozilla Firefox for browsing along with uh, stuff like Adblo Adblock Plus and uh, what else is there uh, you can just go to the add-on site I'll give you a link th to that too and go to security category and check out the great uh, software they have there add-ons for Firefox and uh, besides that you know as I said change your password Ch try and get one of those uh, antivirus softwares AVG I highly recommend and if you know always scan your computer if you feel something's a little you know odd or suspicious if you now as for hacking if you you know with these firewalls you should have a less chance of being hacked you know and changing your hash number so and always keep software up to date it's very important that you keep any software up to date because you know there can be an error and they can get into it from there so if you ever get an update always say yes because it's very important even like iTunes it's very important to keep all your software up to date especially for safety and always have those uh, you know virus protection software is running all the time so anyways uh, that's all for today I hope that this helped and gave you some complete tips and uh, not really uh, you know some an overview and I'll leave the links in the video description anyways that's all for today I hope this helped RHV if not I'll make a part two gladly anyways thanks for watching